At the center of our reconstruction and recovery plan, led by President Ramaphosa, is the creation of sustainable jobs and livelihoods. Our determination is to get our people back into the jobs they lost during the pandemic and also create new ones. This means that we want to broaden the participation of all South Africans in an inclusive economy. As government, we are determined to create an environment which encourages investment, the creation of employment, and skills needed for our economic growth and development. I therefore view the launch of Hydrogen Society Roadmap as amongst the critical and leading instruments towards our economic recovery and developing our economy. The implementation of this roadmap is expected to support inclusive growth and assist government to reduce unemployment, poverty, and inequality. In South Africa, hydrogen is extensively used in the chemical and fuel refining sectors, but it is currently produced mainly from non-renewable sources, such as coal and natural gas. What is of course concerning is that hydrogen and fuel cell technologies are currently used in very few industrial activities in our country. However, the use of hydrogen and fuel cell technologies is likely to expand significantly in future, driven by both mobile and stationary applications, as well as its use in industrial processes, such as ammonia and steel production. In addition to the renewable resources and available land to build the required renewable energy plants, South Africa has a comparative advantage in that our country is home to 75% of the world reserves of the platinum group metals. The platinum group metals such as platinum, ruthenium, and iridium are key components in fuel cell catalysts and electrolyzers for green hydrogen production. In addition, South Africa has a unique and patented fissure trough process owned by SASO, which gives South Africa a competitive edge in the production of liquid fuels based on the hydrogen production route. Opportunities exist indeed for direct replacement of the hydrogen from natural gas by green hydrogen. For example, with the existing gas to liquid facility operated by PetroSL, as well as the existing port infrastructure located from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast of our country, this basic infrastructure can be modified and expanded to supply hydrogen to the domestic and international markets. South Africa currently produces 2% of the global demand for hydrogen, mostly made from natural gas by SASO. Given the projected global demand for green hydrogen, South Africa has the opportunity to convert its current global supply to green hydrogen and the potential to increase the country's share of the green hydrogen market.